Dan Sara, CEO of the Free Market Foundation. I mean, economic freedom, are we chasing any elusive dream? What's the role of business? Well, unfortunately, economic freedom has been rather elusive. So we have these legal rights, but the substantive outcomes have not been ideal, right? So we're dealing with endemic poverty. Unemployment is north of 32%. That's only on the narrow definition, right? It's obviously the private sector that employs people. So you must ask, why are they not employing people? It's because they don't have the right incentives. The regulatory framework is very restrictive. In terms of your so are you blaming the labor fight? relations laws? Very much so. So there is a, a corporatist compact in South Africa between unions, business and government, which unfortunately reproduces the status quo. And we have uh, a very high level of closeness between the Minister of Labor, who tends to come from an organized labor background, and the, the unions in the form of this tripartite alliance. So that creates and reinforces some of the inhibiting policies that we see that are limiting economic opportunity in this country. And according to the Economic Freedom of the World Index, which is released every year by the Fraser Institute in Canada, South Africa's index of economic freedom, we have slipped down. We used to be, and this was post-94, by the way, around the 50 uh, index mark. We are now down to about 114 on that index. So we can yeah, It's a slide all the way down. I'm just yeah. looking at the numbers in my piece of paper. Yeah, it's a slide. All there's a decline everywhere, and and is it just policy that's causing that? Yeah. So I actually disagree with the premise that you put forward earlier that we have good policies. The problem is implementation. Well, I said we are told most time that we <laughs> present very good policies. Well, I'm presenting you an alternative yeah. argument, which is that actually the policies themselves are very poorly conceived. Yeah. They are the product of a highly statist, interventionist mindset. So we have what we would call technocratic socialism in South Africa. Yeah, the state from, is too big and it crowds out the private sector in South Africa. That's okay. why we have such high levels. We'll, we'll of explore that a little bit.